Hello, everybody, and all Sagator back again. So, as you can probably tell, our editing budget has gone up by a full two cents. Nice. So today we're going to be going over how to program the Motorola XTS slash XTL series radios for CTRS. Starting off, we're going to assume, well, this code plug is for a Model 3 XTS 5000 UHF-1 with this feature set. It's got Smart Zone, Astro Digital, OmniLink, 9600 baud, enhanced digital ID, OTAR with multi-key, packet data interface, ADP encryption, software DSP based only, and channel announcement. At a minimum, for send trunk, if you're going to do trunking, you need H38, smart zone system operation, Q806, astro digital operation, Q173, smart zone omnilink multi zone operation. Q361, Astro 25, 9600 baud, trunking system operation. Something that makes your life a whole lot easier is H14, Quebec 667, and if you want to get fancy and have a KVL or KFD shield, Quebec 498. This is using R20. 50.10. Uh, yes, this is a brand new fresh code plug. I did not have one laying around. So to start, we're going to go in from radio communication, radio wide, out of range indicator, alert and display, inbalance coverage indicator, alert and display. This is required per NetOps. System registration indicator, alert and display, time format, up to you, date format, up to you. If you have channel announcements and wish to use them, um, you can also download our pack. You can check channel announcement if you know how to set that up. We do not use ARS at the moment as we do not have data support. User login, unit ID enable, up to you. Radio ID alias, up to you. If you have an ASK, which you can get, you just need to coordinate with NetOps beforehand as we have to authorize it. Key type, whack and key, owner system ID 13B. Emergency, this is not supported on DVM. This has always been the case. This will always be the case. Calls will work, alarms will not. TPS, not used. Um, if you do, for whatever reason, you want to use emergency alarm, there you go. Conventional only, please. Power up self test alert tone. That's what I like to do, but that is up to you. Call alert tone auto reset. I'd recommend you have that off. And then individual unit of call alert level. Um, you can either set that to disabled or I like 200. Low battery, up to you. Timeout timers, up to you. Home mode, up to you. Audio control, all that's up to you. Data. Uh, we are assigning IP addresses, um, but as we don't have data support, this is up to you for the moment, but I'd recommend just setting it to your assigned IP so we don't have to deal with that. Location, um, I wouldn't recommend messing with that. We don't use it. Uh, we're going to skip ahead to additional audio options. I'd recommend putting all those on. Auto rotary light is nice, um, along with independent rotary light, if you wish to use that instead. Evacuation tone, if you're one of those people, and the rest of that's all up to you. Same thing with this. We're going to skip ahead to display and menu. Go to menu items. And if you, at a minimum, we would like you to have call and page. Um, other than that, it's up to you. PTT ID, ID display, scan ID display, end of voice timer set to five. Set to five is a really nice one. There we go. Advanced, um, if you wish to receive emergency calls um, on conventional, then um, you can check emergency call receive right there. Um, along here, I'd also recommend you'd enable auto light, 
um, but that's just me. Um, reasonably, that is up to you, once again. Um, a lot of this is. I'm going to scroll down here to secure. Secure equipped, either ADP or hardware, depending on what you like, uh, well, what you have and what you would like to use. Um, if you have a KBL, just go ahead and use hardware. Uh, most of our stuff are AES keys. Um, Multi-key option, all this, if you don't know what you're doing here, don't do it. Skipping ahead, conventional, conventional configuration. You can leave this as is. Conventional personality, personality one. These are gonna be for our conventional interop frequencies. We're gonna start with Astro. Here, clear is gonna disable itself. TX options, Astro, signaling, not used, MDC, not used, secure, Astro, selectable, secure, and then we're going to set that to ASTFK1, which you have populated under secure settings, if you know what you're doing. Going to skip ahead to scan, if you have a scan list set up, which we will do, which you would do later on, you'd go back here, do it, enhanced RF AGC. Enhanced, Astro, Astro System 1, Late Entry Fast and Unmute, Astro Call, select all the checkboxes, Talk Group, um, if you're using conventional instead of trunking, you can set that up here, and then the rest are not there. Skip down to Astro Systems, you can put your UNID in here. Preamble length, 250 if you're using it on conventional, status, status request, message, and then there's that. Radio check, packet data, if you're on uh, the IO frequencies, you can set this up for TMS operation if you feel like it. Um, same thing with ARS. And then if you were to do MDC, you'd add a new one, non-astro. You're clear. Uh, you can set up a DTMF if you wish. Set that to MDC, PGTID, System 1, um, Selective Call, Unmute Type Set to OR, otherwise you're not going to hear anything. And then check everything else. Make sure you check TX Inhibit Unbusy. Very handy. Uh, secure, set to Clear, because um, we do not use uh, SecureNet. It is illegal. And then there's that. Same thing here, enhanced, Astro won't work, nothing else will work. And then you would adjust your settings for that under MDC, System 1. Um, for your MDC ID, it'd just be your uh, last four of your uh, call sign. Well, not call sign, but uh, radio ID, secondary ID, full call sign, well, full radio. And then set this up as you would like. Uh, preamble during pre-time is a very much required thing. Now we're going to move on to trunking. Trunking configuration. All this needs to stay the same except for alert site trunking. Oh. Everything else needs to stay the same. Trunking system. Trunking system 1. Coverage type. Smart zone. And then make sure you load your system keys beforehand. Um, I have them in the system key directory for uh, CPS, so you shouldn't need it. There you go, UNID 71001 13B Delta Echo 00. Make sure this is Astro 25. Gonna go to aliasing, status, and site. Um, Status alias, add three, fail, busy, DND. Site alias, skip over that, go to advanced, secure LED, non adjacent site search, and then set your TX power how you'd like. And then, oh, dang it, made me out of the book. Um, you'd put the CCs here. Um, those are available in the CC list. Pick the ones for your band. Data, leave this off. ARS, leave it off. Group ID, 
wouldn't let you. Packet data, leave that unsecure. Bypass, leave that as is. Omnilink, enable Omnilink. Site alias, set that up as you wish. Channel ID. Here we go. So the one on the getting started doc and the one on the uh, <clears throat> and the one on DVM host are not well, they count from zero. Motorola count from one. So you'd go zero, one, two, enable, three, enable, channel bandwidth twelve point five, transmit offset positive transmit offset is going to be 1 for channel ID 3 5 for channel ID 4 channel spacing 6.25 base frequency for channel ID 3 146.000 and then 450.000 for channel ID 4 there we go now we're going to go oh, dang it, advance, make sure everything looks good everywhere else. Let's get back up to Astro 25. ISP sequence length, set that to 10. Quick fade protect, just keep on hitting down until it rolls over to, there we go, 6375. PTT warning time, 6000. Uncheck Motorola proprietary features. Go over to digital, C4FM, then 24.4 for both of these. And there's that. Go down to trunking personality. All this should not populate if it's the only trunking system, otherwise, you need to manually set it. Announcement group 911. Set that to clear. Transmit mode unlimited. People aren't nor normally used to seeing that. Advanced RF HGC to enhance status. All this can be set up how you feel like it. Talk groups. Here you add your talk group, uh, the talk group IDs, not the actual aliases. So 7B, 7B for ops. Call page, set that to enhanced unit. Well, sorry, unit to unit, not enhanced unit to unit. Unlimited, unlimited, and call user alert. Um, you'd need to set these to list only if you have a model two and respond only if you have a model one. Preferred sites, you can set that up however you feel like. Emergency revert, do not use this, just flat out. Drunken call list. This is where you put in the aliases for everyone else. So we put in like for my apex. Sorry, nine zero zero one. Uh, the four thousand zero two. Whack an ID. System ID. If you don't put these in, it will not work. Fill value down is very helpful here. Now we're going to go to zone. Um, you, I would recommend you set it up with three zones for the trunking, one zone for conventional. Um, zone one for trunking, sorry, four zones for trunking. Um, zone one for trunking would be system-wide. Zone two would be area one. Uh, zone three, sorry, yes. Zone three would be area two. Zone four would be area three. Um, and then if you wish to have the 5M talk groups, if you're into that sort of thing, you'd have a 5M uh, zone as well, and then the conventional stuff. So we're going to go with zone 1, expand this out, there we go, trunk, personality 1, talk group 7B, 7B, and then since I don't have, uh, there we go, so if it doesn't let you change it here, Go back to personality if you do have a secure quick radio. And then scroll on over and set that to select. Select the key. Um, for the system wide talk groups, it'll be AES TFK1, except for TAC3, that is ADP TFK1. 
and then there's nothing else you need to do here because we do not use failsoft. Uh, and you basically just go in there, add all your channels um, for conventional, of course, set it to conventional, and then select uh, personality one for your P25, personality two for your MDC, um, if that's the numbers that they show up in under conventional personalities. So there you go. That is all you need to do to set up a Motorola XTS 5000 or 2500, 1500, or XTL for Centrunk. As usual, um, do let us know if you run into any issues. We are very welcome to help. Um, the more that learn, the better. Thank you very much.